Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to link your Mojang account with a Microsoft account. We're going to be going over all of it in this video. This was something that Mojang announced they were doing nearly a year ago and it was going to be rolled out slowly. I think a lot of accounts already have it so I don't know. I'm probably very, very late to this process but it depends on when they started. If they're starting with the oldest Microsoft accounts first, the account that I currently have it on here, which is going to be my main account that was made in 2010, just now got it. So if don't know how they're doing this if they're rolling it out from like the first accounts created to the most recent accounts created it might have just kind of started rolling out for 2010 accounts so it could be a while but you would know when your accounts created and if you've already got it i'd be curious when did you get the ability to do this in the description down below first of all though we do miss our sponsor which is apex minecraft so you can go to the first link down below the breakdown text by slash apex this is our very own minecraft server or just come play with us on playdownbreakdowncraft.com the best minecraft survival server in the multiverse which is actually hosted on apex minecraft hosting but you can check out apex the first link down below the breakdown text by slash apex to start your very own server nevertheless let's go ahead and see about upgrading or not see about just go ahead and upgrade our mojang account and link it with our Microsoft account. So as you can see here, when I opened up the Minecraft launcher and first got this notice, there was a bigger notice here, but I closed out of it. And then at the bottom, I have migrate your Mojang account to a Microsoft account to get improved account security and claim your special cape. So as we all know, you get a special cape if you or when you migrate your Mojang account to a Microsoft account. If you do not have this notice at the bottom of your Minecraft launcher, you cannot upgrade your account. Plain and simple. I was expecting an email from Mojang on this as well. I never got an email and yes, I did check my email is up to date on this account. So never got an email about this, but in my Minecraft launcher, I do have at the bottom, migrate your Mojang account to a Microsoft account to get improved account security and claim your special cape. It's interesting. If I switch to one of my other accounts here, that goes away. It's not there anymore. I cannot migrate this account. I can only migrate this one, which is my, my primary account, right? I can migrate my primary account from 2010. I would guess this account right here was probably made sometime in 2014, and I cannot migrate this one. So the old account right here, 2010, I can. The newer one, I can't. That message goes away. Nonetheless, once you've got this message, though, you guessed it. You're going to click Get Started. When you click on Get Started, it is going to open up this page right here. Sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and do this a little differently. It's going to open up this page right here where you're going to log in to your Mojang account. So let me go ahead and do that really fast. Once we've logged in, it is going to reload right like that. Now we do have this information, the personal information blacked out uh, because obvious reasons, but nevertheless, we even go ahead and black out the password. I'm kind of giving the editor some notes here. You basically put a black box of personal information all the way down to here. Uh, none of this information you need. The only thing you need on this page is right up here at the top. It's time to move. In just five of these steps, we'll move your Microsoft or Minecraft account to a Microsoft account, confirm your email address, set up a Microsoft account, set up your Xbox profile, link account, play Minecraft Java edition. Now, it does notice that if you're underage, you will need help from a parent or guardian for this. If that's the case, go get your parent. They'll be able to kind of walk you through it from this step, and they can use this video to do that. However, at this point, we're going to go ahead and click on Move My Account. So when we go ahead, click on that. It's going to go ahead and kind of reload. Take us here. As you can see, let's make sure it's really you. Before we migrate your account, we'll have to verify your email. So go ahead and get code. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to get this like code. And then once we click Submit, I will go ahead and uh, continue on with the video. So this is what the email will look like. As you can see, we have my email address blacked out as well as the code blacked out, but you will copy and paste the code from right there. Come back over here and paste it in. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go, code is pasted in, blacked out on this screen as well. And we can go ahead and submit and start migration. Now at this point, it's gonna go ahead and start migrating. Now, big email there, black that one out, you guessed it. Uh, th thanks so much to the editor for this one. Um, yeah, so anyway, go ahead, black that one out obviously, but we're gonna go ahead and go through this process. So as I said, we can go ahead and click next here, and it's gonna kind of walk us through this. There is so much blacking out that we have to do. I, I'm <laughs> So sorry to the editor for this one because it's, it's twice this email is right there and it's right there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to this process, click sign in, and I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Microsoft account. So there we go. We've now logged in to our Microsoft account. It's going to ask if we want to stay signed in. Yes or no, doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do here. Again, another email to black out, but a different one this time. <laughs> now we can go ahead and continue on and boom. I think just like that, almost there. Time to move your skins, creations, and everything else to your Minecraft account. It does have my gamer tag there as well. Doesn't matter if that's blacked out, actually, which is great. Something that the editor doesn't have to do. Uh, but nevertheless, we can go ahead and click Complete Move here, and it will finally go ahead and do that. So as you can see, everything is now linking together. Move complete. Next time you sign into Minecraft.net or the Minecraft Launcher, make sure you use the Microsoft account. Got it. There we go. Now, the big benefit to what we just did there, the big benefit is that we can use 2FA. So while we have been blacking out emails through 
all of this and everything like that. Now we don't have to as much because 2FA is there. Obviously we are throughout this video and everything. You should always keep that information private and that's not something you'll have to think about because you're not recording it for millions of people. But, but it is cool that now you can use 2FA, two-factor authentication on your Minecraft account. So, so the big thing is if we come back to Minecraft here, we should be able to play as normal, right? Nope, there we go, I was thinking. We should be able to play as normal after we log back in. It did log us out and guess what? Another email we have to black out. So if we go ahead and click go back here, we are now gonna be able to log on in to this account. So now after we went back, I clicked add new account and we can go ahead and Microsoft log in. It's gonna open up this right here where we can log into our Microsoft account. I'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast. There we go, and when I click signed in, it immediately closed out of it. it says, welcome to Xbox, and is going to go ahead, let's go, all of that stuff. I believe there was yet another email address there that needed just a few seconds of blackout, but there we go. We are now logged in. Now, one thing I do in notice that's interesting, it has my gamer tag up here now. It does not have my Mojang, basically, account info, right? So it's got my gamer tag there. It does not have my, so wait, what happens if I click my old Mojang account? It's not gonna work anymore. That is interesting, very, very interesting. So yes, now. Now this is with the daily videos, basically my gamer tag on Xbox Live. What happens when we go ahead and play? Let's go ahead, jump into 1.17.1. I'm guessing our gamer tag, or not gamer tag, but our Minecraft name should be the same. This is going to cause a decent amount of confusion for some people, I'm going to be guessing, because people are going to be trying to, you know, think about their gamer tag now when they're on Java Edition, when it's not their gamer tag per se, it's going to be their Minecraft username. Those are two separate things. Very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we're on the main menu. So here we are in game. We can go ahead and click on multiplayer, and we can join the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com with 1.17.1 Grief Protected Survival. Now, once we're in game here, we go ahead and hit tab. I have the username Nick's Games, not my gamer tag. I have my Minecraft username, not my 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 gamer tag, which is what was showing in the Minecraft launcher. Very very interesting. Curious how that's going to change things over time. But nevertheless, you now know what the best Minecraft server in the multiverse is. Play.breakdowncraft.com. And you also know how you're going to be able to migrate your Mojang account when that does happen. It's going to be a while, and it's not going to be right away. It's going to take a decent amount of time. So just be ready for that. It's not coming right away. It's going to be coming in probably, my guess, would be months, maybe even a year for some people. But when that time does come, this tutorial will be here to serve you. And on top of that, you now know how to get an awesome cape. Do, do, we, do we have the cape? Do we have do we do we have the cape? I have I have a uh, one of our our team members skulls on. There we go. Um, it seems like we don't have the cape. How do capes work? I honestly don't know much about that. I, I need to get this cape working. I think skin customization cape is on. Hmm, this is interesting. Maybe you have to go back to Mojang.net. Let me do a little research on this. Quick jump cut. Yes, so I was correct. Here we are back on Mojang's website with less less blacking out now because as you can see, this email that was at the top has went away. It was great. So nevertheless. What we're going to do once we're on this page is go to skin and then scroll down and here we have our cape. So as you can see, we can turn on the migrator cape and have that selected. So now if we minimize, come back to Minecraft, it's not going to be here until we disconnect. I'm guessing reconnects. All we should need to do is going to ping the server and there it is. That's a beautiful cape. Look at that. I love it. So you can do that on Mojang's website. I believe we can also do that from the Minecraft launcher. If we go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here and then we click on skin. So once we're on the Minecraft launcher, wait for it. There we go. We can go ahead and click on skin and then we can scroll down. Doesn't look like it's going to allow us to uh, to choose the cape, actually. Okay, yes, it is. So when you add a new skin, you can choose whether or not to add the cape. So if we want to go in here and uh, go to our, I don't know, different skin, for example, the this one right here, we can edit it and right now add the cape, save and use. Boom, there we go. The cape is now activated. Awesome stuff. So there you go. That's how you can add your cape, both via the website and the Minecraft launcher there, via the add a new skin and selecting it there. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.